question to number three here. So it says, identify the elements that have molecules as their basic unit. So I have identified the elements that have molecules. So molecules as their basic unit. So I have A here, which is hydrogen. B here is, uh, is iodine. C here is lead. And D here is oxygen. So it says, identify the elements that have molecules as their, um, as their basic unit. So when we talk about molecules, we're talking about, um, we're talking about uh, basically elements that have, it's, it's basically two or more elements, right? So let's define this uh, term molecule. So again, molecule are basically two or more elements. And they're also bonded to each other, right? Bonded to each other. So knowing that, knowing that molecules are two or more elements are bonded to each other, we can ne then look at the chemical formula of these guys here to figure out if it's a molecule or not, right? Hydrogen, again, hydrogen, we know it's a, it's a special, special kind of element here, hydrogen gas. Um, kind of exists as uh, two parts, right? So we know hydrogen is H2, right? H2. And in this case, this would be a molecule, right? Because I have more than one, switching so this here is a molecule. And again, uh, this, this is a great example of diatomic molecules, right? So when we talk about this concept of, uh, and I'm gonna do a subsection here. This is the topic of diatomic molecules. And then I have like a, uh, a kind of a mnemonic to help us memorize this. So it's Hoff Brinkle, right? So it's H O F Brink I N C L. Hoff Brinkle. So it's hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine, bromine, iodine, nitrogen, and chlorine. All these guys here exist always in two. So they always, always exist in two two or in pairs. So iodine here belongs in terms of my diatomic, which means the chemical formula for iodine is I2. So therefore this here is also a molecule. Lead here is simply, if, if you look at the chemical formula for lead, lead is actually over here. Right? It's PB here. This is number 82 PB. And this here does not, it doesn't, is, is not a diatomic molecule, right? Which means I can simply, simply put PB by itself here. And if I only have one of the element here, this is a not a molecule here, not a molecule. And the oxygen is again in my diatomic area. Hoth, the O here means oxygen. So this here is O2. So it exists in two, therefore this here is a molecule. So in this case, uh, A here, A here is a molecule, B here is a molecule, C is not a molecule, and D here is a molecule. So this here is my correct answer. A, B, and D are uh, are all molecules. So let's look at the answer here. It says the elements have molecules as their basic units. A hydrogen has molecules, that's good. Iodine has molecules, that's good. Lead does not, and oxygen has molecules, that's good. So it says molecular element do not has, do not has, this grammar is not very good, don't have, uh, don't have a single atom as a basic unit and exists as molecules in which two or more atoms of an element are bonded together. The molecule, molecular elements are usually diatomic. That's what I said here. That's good. The chemical formula of hydrogen is, they repeated the exact same in, statement here. And then uh, they repeated the exact statement here. So this solution is correct. I just don't like their formatting. Um, the solution is correct. I don't, I'm not, not a fan of the formatting of the answer. But, um, but remember, diatomic molecules, diatomic molecules are, um, diatomic molecules consist of, and then I can say hydrogen, I call this so hydrogen, oxygen, this is fluorine, bromine, iodine, nitrogen, and chlorine. Lead is not a diatomic 
molecule. Yeah. While the rest are. <laughs> so the solution here is correct. Thank <laughs> you.